Now, part two out of three, we're gonna take the basic retouched image, we're gonna throw it in the Photoshop and I'm gonna do some advanced retouching. So, click the subscribe button and enable the notification with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to right click on the thumbnail of the photo, edit in and open a smart object in Photoshop. Now, for me, this is an important step. Um, the reason why I want to open the photo as a smart object is because I want to have the possibility of going back and forth between Photoshop and Lightroom and do some adjustment in Lightroom and then back in Photoshop and then back in Lightroom and so on and so forth. Now, first thing I want to do is I'm going to duplicate the background layer um, because I don't want to mess around with the original one. Although it's a smart object, so I can always go back, but don't want to mess around with it. Now I'm gonna zoom in all the way and uh, zoom in to 100% and I'm going through the picture to see what I have to do here. Now there are some blemishes, now there are some blemishes of the skin I need to retouch. Now, so the light is very beautiful, I really like it, it's dramatic. And uh, I will have to enhance it through dodging the bird. But that's coming last after. So right now I'm gonna click on this action of mine which is frequency separation basic. I'm gonna click in there and now if you're really interested in to know the details of the frequency separation technique let me know drop a comment down below and I'll uh, get a tutorial ready for you. This is a technique very well used in fashion editorial photography so when you have to do high-end Photoshop retouching this is the way to go. Um, so 15 pixels is fine. I'm not gonna go too much into details now. Now Photoshop is doing these things and uh, here we have a layer. This layer, well here we have a group of layers. Now this contrast layer I don't really need. Then we have texture, blending, I'll tell you in a second why we need that, and then color. Now let me hide the layer and then Color. Color is, zoom in 100%. Color is a blurred version of the original picture. Uh, the color layer is where we take care of patches of color that are incongruent with each other. And so we make the color of the skin consistent. And we smooth gradation from color to color. Uh, blending, right now it's a transparent layer. Nothing happened here right now, something will happen. And then texture, finally, is where you have only the details. So in this layer, there is no color information. There are only details. So the idea behind frequency separation is really very simple. We are going to retouch details in the texture layer. So we will not affect the colors. And then we want to correct the colors in the color layer indeed. So we don't affect details. If you want to know more, drop a comment down below. Uh, right, texture. I'm going to duplicate this layer because now I'm going to mess around with it. I'm going to get myself uh, a healing brush tool is fine for now. I'm going to reduce the size. I'm going to reduce the size of this guy something along this line and back to the photo original photo you can see that for instance this part of the skin needs to be hit and so I will activate this I will make sure that the align sample is current layer so I want to work only on this texture and then I'm just gonna fix it. Now, this is one of those tedious jobs that you probably wanna do with some music and you know, you're gonna spend probably a great deal of time. If I can give you a piece of advice on this part, the frequency separation, so the, the blemishing retouch, it's very easy to get lost and to get sucked up into the process. So make sure that you know, in a session of one hour, you have at least two or three breaks. 
So you step away from the laptop, you have a coffee, you walk out of the door, you do something, you eat sandwich. Um, because it's very important that your eyes and your mind uh, have a break from the picture. With that being said, I'm going to spare you the pain of looking at me doing all these things for one hour and uh, assuming that that's been done, as I've done already previously. I'm going to show you one more thing I usually do in the uh, advanced retouching, so the second step of my workflow. And that is, that is dodging a bird. Um, let me show you what it is. Um, again, I'll go and pick one of my custom made actions. Now, there are several ways of achieving the same result, dodging and burning in Photoshop. This is one I'm going to show you today, probably going to show you in other episodes some other ways. So I'm going to pick this dodge and burn curves, or drum and bass curves, as you like. And here you can see I have a curve which is burn and a curve which is dodge. Uh, they are both set on luminosity. And uh, you know what, I'm gonna show you how to make it. So, first of all, you create a curve. You call it dodge. Now, dodge is when you add light. And so I'm gonna go in luminosity because I don't wanna affect the color, just the luminosity values of the picture. And I'm gonna bump it all the way. And then I'm gonna add a mask and I'm gonna make it black. So this layer doesn't do anything right now. Then I'm going to do exactly the same thing, create another curve. This time it's going to be the burn curve. Now burn is when you add shadows. I'll underexpose the picture a good deal. And then I'll add the mask and then black. So select them both. Command G to create a group and then dodge and burn or BNB or drum and bass or techno or whatever you like. Now, how does it work? Hit B for selecting the brush. Make sure to have an opacity around 30% is good. So hit three on the keyboard. Then flow has to be something between 5% and 15%. And uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with burning. So I'm gonna give shadows, I'm gonna add shadows to the picture. So example, select the mask of the burn, I have my brush, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, and then I'm gonna gently paint in these dark areas. Now for the highlights part, I'm gonna select the mask for the dodge uh, layer. I still have my brush selected and I'm just going to brighten up these little parts here. In fact, let me show you in the face something very quickly. So I have the dodge layer selected, so we're gonna bring in some highlights. And I can see that there is, this part is already bright. The eye here is already bright. The nose, this part of the nose is already bright. Hips, chin, the jawline, very bright. Now I'm switching to the burn and I'm gonna enhance the shadows. So it's usually under the jawline here. This is specifically true for male model. And there is this part very dramatic under the lip, in between the lips. And now pay attention to the face of the model. I'm gonna do a before and after and you will see there is some difference there. Definitely. 